Oh, what's up, y'all? Let's see what's going on. Mind you, we still in that full moon energy, so emotions could be running high at this time. Take time to breathe. Take your spiritual showers, your spiritual baths, your journaling, stuff like that. Yeah, come out of that scarcity energy or feeling lack or feeling like you're missing something, okay? Because you have all that you need. All that you need is within you right now, and you already have it. And once you know that you already have it and know that you're protected, know that your ancestors and angels got your back, they've been preparing you for this time for so long. You could be missing a person, but there's a lot of um, soul forgiveness that, that is needing to happen at this time. That's forgiving other people on all timelines. That's forgiving yourself on all timelines. <laughs> no matter what dimension. Because everything is happening right now. Okay? Everything, everywhere, at all times is happening right now. And that's why the present moment is very important. We got worthiness, okay? You are worthy, baby. You're worthy, okay? You're worthy to have whatever you want. So if you've been feeling like things is just not going your way, it's something that you're needing to let go and face. There's some type of truth here that you're needing to face. And you're also needing to know that you're worthy. You're worthy to have this. You're worthy to have everything that you desire, okay? And somebody lusting over you, sacred lust. Um, your creativity is unblocked. Don't be ashamed of yourself, like... You different for a reason. So if it's something that you do that don't nobody else do, don't be ashamed of that. Like if you good at body painting, but you got people like, um, she painting naked bodies and stuff like that. Or if you good at massaging, whatever you good at, don't be ashamed of it. Embrace it. Okay? That's your talent for a reason. Especially if nobody else in the field. Especially if nobody else doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go for that. Let's see what's going on. What we got for the soul forgiveness spirit? What we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? Somebody could have went through some type of loss, but you have enough. It's going to work out. The magician, listen, you're manifesting, baby. You're manifesting. Sage of Cups. This is King of Cups. You got some type of, uh, you got some type of offer that's about to come in from this King of Cups. Um, I feel like they want to express their love now to you. Um, they've been working on themselves. Sage of Pentacles, which is the King of Pentacles. All right. But they've been working on trying to manifest more money into their life um, and this commitment. They have so much love for you and they're asking for your forgiveness. They're praying that when they come towards you, that you forgive them. Okay. Because the things that they have done in the past was lessons that they needed to learn. But they've learned them lessons because they're facing their truth. They're they're facing their truth. They're recognizing they're worthy of their desires. They're missing you so much. So they're, they're being guided towards you. Okay? They might even do... Some of them do moon magic. Um, you got other people that's doing moon magic. None of that magic is going to matter at this time. I'm just letting you know. Okay? Whatever you put your energy into is what... Whatever you choose to believe, you know, that's what you will receive. But um, during this full moon, I feel like they may even get tarot readings done on you or look like look at YouTube tarot readings or whatever. Because this person is a tarot reader. But they could be watching your YouTube channels if you are a tarot reader. Okay, they're doing moon magic to try like to try to manifest you. They want to manifest you because I feel like they're they're afraid. They've been watching you, but they're afraid that you won't see how much they have been working on themselves and you would think that they still got other options or still would betray you they also feel like they 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 feel afraid that if they come in and put in work towards this connection that you will eventually have other options and betray them just how they did you but what they don't know is you had time to heal yourself and you have forgiven them so they need to let go of that type of energy because that's what you manifest if you keep on um believing in your fears look this person is victorious but they had to walk away from a something they invested a lot of love and energy in okay and by them walking away is that's when spirit will start rewarding this person that's when they will become victorious so for some of you by eight eight because we got the eight of pentacles the eight of cups by eight eight your victory with your soulmate or your love your honey bun will be um will come into fruition on the physical, okay? 
this person wants to match your energy this is somebody you will be very successful with they want to show you off publicly like they will tell the world like look this is my baby and they won't even give up they won't even care who has something to say i feel like they had to walk away from whoever this person was that they put a lot of work into. But come to find out this person was doing magic on them. And this person was causing a whole bunch of confusion. And this person had other people on their side. Little little Jones on the side. You know what I'm saying? That they've been messing with and betraying them. It's just like a whole cycle. Whatever your person did to you, it got done to them. And that's their karma. You know what I mean? So if you're going to allow your person in, it's time for you to forgive them. And it's time for you to forgive yourself. Don't allow somebody in just so you can try to get revenge. Because I'm telling you, that'll be the worst thing in your life. You're going to miss out on true love because you allowed your ego to step in the way. Alright? Yeah, this person feels like the mother of pentacles with the... um. Maiden of Cups, this person feels like you're very, you're like a homemaker. You're, you're like the type of person that can do both. Like you make sure home is taken care of, but you also make sure you go to work and get, get the job done at work. This could be a boss too. You know, somebody that's a hard worker behind the scenes or whatever. But this person has fallen in love with you, okay? And they pray for you. They pray to the stars, like they wishing upon a star for you. They're hoping that you love them just as much as they love you, okay? They know that they've taken a lot of time. Everything needed time. It, it took time for these cycles to break. And now this person lusting over you, especially at night. They're ready to make these two vessels into one. <laughs> yeah, and they regret putting you in a third-party situation. Whoever that third party is is very angry. And they tried to block this connection. Now your person is protecting you from the snake. You know what I'm saying? But first they had to recognize it was a snake. Because that snake was once telling them that you were the snake. And they didn't know what to believe. But time revealed it all. Okay. So time reveals everything. You are breaking generational curses. You are breaking cycles that, you know, only you could do. Your ancestors has been waiting for you and praying for you. So they have been protecting you. So if it had been some type of delay, it was for your protection because you are a star. And everybody see that. And even if they tried to believe anything other than that, you didn't prove them wrong already. Because they watching your every move, okay? And spirit about to drop people to their knees. Okay? People going to be dropped to their knees because whoever been trying to do you wrong or doing magic and stuff like that on you to try to keep you stuck and blocked. It's about to get theirs. Everybody gets karma. <laughs> so anyway, if you've been feeling scarcity energy or feeling like you don't have enough to get to a certain place, Spirit is saying you will. You already have it. Um, hold on to what you have now because more will be on the way. Okay? Some of you needing to stand up for yourself or get out your own way. Get out your ego. Get out your pride and step into this new beginning with faith. Okay? There's some type of happy reunion here. This person wants to offer you. Listen, I'm telling you, it's going to start off with communication and it's going to be something that you can trust. And they will offer you communication, but they want to offer you some type of new beginning. They're very serious about this new beginning, okay? They went through a lot and had to sacrifice a lot to, to give you this new beginning as well, okay? So say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.